You're welcome. You're welcome if you're new. Welcome if you're not new. Today's video is book haul. Ah. And I like it because I got a very good book. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books this time. But I want to talk about first the book that I was checking out because the ladies were still putting books on the shelf. Every Wednesday they put new books out and I'll, I'm always going to buy new books. Plus, I found a bookshelf on the side of the road. I wanted to pick it up, but I didn't. Um, but I was reading, and it says, Ask Amy Green. Green's are my last name. And it says here, 13-year-old Amy Green has a lot going on. From giving relationship advice to her best friend, to caring for a newborn sister, and helping her mom plan a wedding. Amy could really use a vacation. So when Amy's 17 year old aunt, Clover, suggested getting out of Dumplin' and asked a spontaneous weekend trip to Paris for wet wedding and bridesmaid dress shopping, Amy can't wait to go. What even better, Amy's boyfriend will be on the class trip to Paris at the same time. Ooh, okay. What could be more romantic than ring lovers in the city of light? Join Amy and Clever on an adventure in one of the most magical cities in the world. And yes, there, this is book one. They have book two and three. Book two is uh, same thing. Ask Amy Green. Uh, book two is called Boy Trouble, and it's by Sarah Webb. And then um, the next one is Summer Secrets. This is Bridesmaids Blitz. So this is a pretty good book. And reading the back of the book, I was like, okay, I can have a book done in no time. So that's a book I cannot wait start reading. Okay, I think I have this on my Goodreads. I'm not too sure. This is by Michael Robum. Robotham. Robotham. Good girl, bad girl. I think I do have it on here. Whoever had this book didn't finish it. I mean, we're on chapter 8. This book is kind of run down well, but it's not a bad book. Um, for now on, I do go and take and trade a book for a book at the library sale, and I guess they're okay with it because I've been doing it for, like, months now. But I got this book. The book I traded in was, I have the book, um, Fireproof, and it was The Love Diary. There's nothing really too much to read in that book and have that book on my bookshelf. I would never read it. It's just me sitting there as a decorative piece. And I didn't really want it for that. So I traded that book in and I got by Aaron Donnie Michaels. No. By Diane Stump. My Diane. Something. My Don't Eat Chocolate Cookies. And I thought this book was cute, the cover. I thought it would be good. And that's like, the cover looks kind of old, like it's an old book. Like, I don't know what, yeah, I was kind of ripping it here. Like, I don't know what year this book came out in. Okay, this is a 2009 book. <laughs> Let's see when this one came. I don't know. I don't know when this book came out. No, I feel like it's too late. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I do. So, in 2020. Okay. So, this is a 
two books that I got. The next book I've had this book before, but it was in paperback. I found it in hardback. I did not like the book when it was in paperback. So I got it in hardback. Like I have my silent patient book. So maybe I might read this one and like it. This is by T. D. James and it's called The Private Patient. And T. D. James is a female author. Um so I'm excited. To actually read this book. This is a book of the month club main selection. So book of the month book. That is so sweet. So I can't wait to, to read this book. And this might be a book that I choose to pick up and read next. And the cover is different than the other book. This one here is a New York best time seller. It's now a motion picture book and it's called Wild. I've never heard anything about it, but an Oprah Winfrey book club book and they gave it a 2.0 pick. So the best book of the year in the are the Boston Global Entertainment Weekly Vogue. So I can't wait to read this book as well. So giving it a 2.0 means it may not be that good, but you never know. I've got a book that was down to a point two point nine and I read it and it was actually not like a five star read for me, but I did make it up to like a, I think a 3.5 star a little bit. It's not the best book of the two yet. This next one is by Susan Redfern, In an Instant. Now, I think I've heard of this book on Goodreads, and I think I've heard some people talk about this book, but it uh, looks good. Cannot wait to read the book. Now for Still and Beach Day, which is coming up this month, um, on the 27th, I believe, of this month, which is not this weekend, but next weekend, and I'm thinking that next year, I may talk with the ladies in the library again and wrap some books up and do a, where they can come in and buy a book and do a blind book, buy a blind book, and take it home, and, or we can find them if they're in good shape, like this one's in good shape, this one's actually in pretty good shape, the private patient's in good shape, find some really good books, wrap them up, write a saying about the book, if it is a mystery, put mystery, suspense, whatever, and also on it, I will put down Goodreads gave this book, Goodread, Goodread readers gave this book a 3.5 stars so they can see. Yeah. Next one was by Harley Savinders. I think that's how you say it. And it's called Dirt Creek. This is a mystery book. I read the back of this book. I'll go ahead and let me say it. Who's lying about what happened at Dirt Creek? In a small town, everyone is canceled. 12 year old Ronnie is disappeared to find her best friend, Esther who has disappeared in their small town in rural Australia. Their school friend, Lewis, tells Ronnie he saw Esther down by the creek. The afternoon, she went missing, but Lewis is determined to speak to the police. 
and he isn't the only one hiding something important. Executive Sergeant Sarah Michaels begins her investigation during the hottest spring in decades. She attempts to uncover the conviction that blind the community together that brings the community together, sorry. And she starts to expose the town's secret because someone knows what happened to Astrid. Really? Atomic Tires of Our Age are now lost. So it is uh <sighs> Mm. I can't wait to read this book. This may be my next book I pick and read. I mean, I have books. I have my TBR for next month already picked out. already made the video, but haven't uploaded the video yet. And I want to read all their books, too. <laughs> so, the next book I got was I Don't Forgive You. And it's a thriller. An accomplished photographer and devoted mom of an adorable little boy. Allie Ross has just moved to an upscale DC suburb behind a place where parenting tools like tax degree support. Alice the spot the parent despite to make a first good impression. Okay, I probably read that wrong, word wrong. Then she, then she's framed for murder. As the killer closes in, Alex must reach back into the past. She vowed to forget in order to learn the shocking truth of who is destroying her life. So I was like, huh, mm. so I can't wait to read that book either. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, guys, I hope you enjoy it. And if you haven't read any of these books, go check them out. Till next time, bye, guys.